thank you very much. Boy, that was quick. Wow! <laughs> Monday, April 25th, 2011. Hope you all had a great uh, Easter. Uh, filling in for Kelly, who has the day off, is Mel B. from... Oh, my God. So, Mel B., it's nice to have you. She flew in last night from Los Angeles. And yes. if you were in New York last night, you know the thunder and the lightning in the skies. Oh, it kind of scared me a little bit. That's, you know, I only experienced that kind of weather in London. So yeah. I felt like I'd brought London with me. Yes. Sorry. And, 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 did, and did the plane bounce around a little bit? A little bit. I was clinging on like white knuckle ride, but we got here <laughs> safely. It's all good to go. Mel is here because this week, of course, everybody's concentrating on the big wedding. And so we'll yes. be talking about that all, uh, all week. And the big posh wedding. Yes, we're going to give you a little Lovely. 101 lesson in what is really going on over there in Britain at the end of, near the end of our show. Now, Mel, you may recall, was one of the Spice Girls. Remember the Spice Girls? Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> Mel was called the scariest of the Spice Girls. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so when did the, the, the team break up? And when, when did well, that end? We haven't officially broken yeah, up. We're all kind up. of together still and right. very much in support of one another. But we all kind of do our own thing now. Sure. We're all married with family. You're all married yeah. women with kids running around doing the dishes. <laughs> oh, we don't do dishes. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> But no. in those days, just a few years ago, the Spice Girls were like the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Believe. Well, I was anyway. I was the <laughs> naughty one. <laughs> Let's reminisce about those days. Just tell me a little bit about it. Something that we never heard before. Well, we were on the road for quite some time, yeah. touring everywhere, and and we all had our own personal security guards. Oh. And you know. It, some people kind of think it's quite nice to have your own security. Well, I didn't. I used to hide from mine. Oh, really? I'd, I'd be like, I'm going out. Don't tell anyone. And I'd be off at the clubs. So oh, my the God, Mel. Those were the days, <laughs> those huh? Those were the days, yeah. Mm. How about you back in the day? You must have done your fair share of clubbing. <laughs> Come Regis? on, tell us. <laughs> Regis the legend in a club? <laughs> no, I missed a lot, believe me. Now, I have to ask you, yes. would you, you know, now you're going to have a bit of time off towards the end of the year. Yeah. Would you ever consider doing Dancing with the Stars? Because I think you'd be amazing. <laughs> you know, put a little swab in there. It is such a hot show now, and everybody wants to crack at it, but honest to God, I'm really not a good dancer. I don't believe uh, you. Oh, no, I'm not. Twinkle toes, whoever, but you're great. No. <laughs> and whoever my partner would be would, would have to suffer teaching me every little step. No, I'm not, not, I'm not good at that. Well, everybody thinks you're great, so I bet you're not that much hard work. Really? So tell me about what's going on in your life now. Well, I'm pregnant. Very pregnant oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of downtime, but uh -huh. there has been a few rumors out there about X Factor and stuff, so we'll see. It is Factor, that's all we hear about now. You know, the big guy's coming back with X Factor. He is, Mr. Um, Cowell. Would you be doing that here in this country or in another country or...? Well, it's in three places. It's going to be here in the States, right. and obviously we have our UK version, yeah. and then we've got the Australian version. Oh. So any one of those versions for me would be great. Be nice for you to very easy for you to do it right here in America, it right? It would. Yeah. It really would. But I think put I, a good word in for me. Yes, of course. He, he and I are like this. <laughs> uh, so you, you would like to do that? You would be a good judge, I, I think. That'd be fun. Because I'm not one to hold my tongue. You know, if I don't like something, then I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Well, look what happened to American Idol. I mean, they got uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. <gasps> She's great, isn't she? Doesn't she look so but, hot? But, but these people, <laughs> she does look she's better than ever, I think. Yeah. yeah. She's been a guest of ours over the years, so she looks terrific. Yeah. And who is the, the singer's name? Uh, name? Yeah, Steven Steve Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. But you and see, he sings the whole time. Exactly. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> well, you see, that's what the show needs. They need experienced singers. People yeah, they who do. know. Yeah, what you're that right. other person is singing. And you do a bit of singing. There you go, oh. baby. That's it. Hey. Come on. Uh. We both do <laughs> our fair share of singing in Vegas. You've done a bit there, and I've done that's, a bit there, that's too. That's right, yeah. It, it's always great, isn't it? Vegas, All right, I so, love Mel, it. you're going to be here today, and, and we thank you so much for coming, and especially in the <laughs> terrible weather. I don't know, you don't follow basketball, do you? But we're in you the know, playoffs now in this my country. My kids do, and I know yeah. you're a big sports fan, so I'm going to just... Well, but here's your it. team, the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the best teams. And last night they lost again to New Orleans. They did? Yeah, they really oh. did. So it's two and two for them. It would be, uh, it would be a big, big uh, 
lost, I think, to basketball if they if they can't come through and, and proceed on with the playoffs. Who do you support? Well, I love the Knicks, of course, here in New York. We got into the playoffs, so we lost four straight to, Cl to Boston. <laughs> We're trying, all right? It'll be a couple of years, but we'll be there. And the Hawks over Orlando, a lot of... Uh, and uh, Philadelphia over Miami, a lot of upsets in the basketball yesterday. I should be more up to speed, so thank you for that. Now I know. I feel like I know a little bit more about basketball now. I, know, I feel like I've swallowed a basketball. How is that? Do you, do you, do you have any... Uh... Throw up? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say it, but you're right on, the, right on the money. I did for about three months, which isn't easy. Every morning. More or less, Whether, whether you yeah. want to or not. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, mm, but now I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed and calm. Oh, that's which is Which is nice. But this isn't the first baby, right? You've got no, two girls. No, this all? is my third one, mm, yeah. boy, oh boy, Mel. Hey, well, oh. <laughs> Mel B, what does Mel B mean, incidentally? Well, my name's Melanie Brown, so oh, it's like oh. cut short. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really wish I could tell you an exciting story, but that's it. That's your lot. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot for the information. <laughs> You're welcome. Did you ever um, notice that uh, some of your friends out there in Los Angeles, especially Los Angeles, which is the Botox haven of the world? Yeah. Uh, but you notice what, when they get it done, how sometimes <laughs> when you look at them, they, their, their, their perception or their, 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 their look. Their expression is Their like, expression is I'm dead. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't move. Well, they're saying here now they study that, and Botox may indeed smooth your wrinkles, but it will also dull your ability to understand the emotions of others. And us ladies, we need to have that expression and emotion. Yeah. We do. And people who use Botox are less able to read other people's uh, emotions as well. So don't really do it. But the, you know what? I do think a little bit of prevention now and again is good, but I don't know about the needle stuff. Yeah. And you don't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, in the old, but in the Fill old up. days, you didn't need any Botox, did you, Mel? Huh? No, but I think I might. I mean, I've got. I'm. I'm very expressionate these days, as you can see. There's lines all over the <laughs> joint. Is that good? I don't know. What you do you know, think? You're fine. sitting this close. <laughs> you tell me. It looks like the old days to me. <laughs> <laughs>